Good job by Rosario to play the lane. And oh, Noel hit his left knee uh -oh. on the basket brace uh -oh. as he blocked that shot. And that did not look good. What a great job of hustling by New Orleans. I mean, he hustled and hustled to get back, took the way to lay up. Let's hope the kid is okay. In watching it in live action in full speed, it looked like he sort of hyperextended it backward when he hit that SEC pad right behind Rosario, who was on the break. And boy, would this ruin Kentucky's season. This is this is the reason, or a big reason, they are eight and two in conference play. Well, he's such a difference maker defensively. What he does to teams psychologically he has them really, really think about him all the time. Here's Rosario on the break now, and watch Nerlens go up with a left hand, block the shot, and then on landing, there came the foot, and then well, the knee went right in behind Rosario into the pad. And they continue to work on him down on the baseline. He has a real good personality, too. Good kid. I spoke to him before the game. And in a lot of pain right now. And I think everybody, even the Florida fans, Dick, right now are sort of holding their breath. The Rowdy Reptiles are not even making any noise. They know how big a... Uh, how big a plus he is to the Kentucky team. Well, nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. I mean, really, uh, really a sad situation if he's seriously injured for all the Kentucky faithful and people that have hope because he's a vital part, vital part of their whole scheme on a defensive end. They've made a run here now to the eight-minute mark, and we said if they could get it down to double uh, figures or, or maybe nine, and they had a couple chances down there, and they let them get away. Yeah, they had a few opportunities, and a couple plays really didn't come up because they didn't have good guard play. And I can't emphasize that enough. If you're going to win in college, you take a look at all the teams that win. I mean, look at Michigan. Michigan has the best guard combination in the game when you look at Burke and Hardaway. You then go down and you look at Indiana. You look at all the deep in the way he's developed to become a player of the year candidate. He's a wing player, can play some guard with Halls and certainly with Farrell. You take a look at every team that's up there, they're strong on the perimeter. Nerland's Noel again still on the floor. Kentucky in the midst of a 7-2 run, as we'll give you another look at it this is going to be from a different angle and you might see when he lands that the knee sort of comes backwards and he immediately tried to put the brakes on they're trying to get him on his feet right now and the Odom crowd give him a standing ovation wow this is a, not a good look yeah, left knee of Merlin's Noel and he's going straight to the locker room and he is putting absolutely no pressure on that leg and they're going to carry him in oh what a sight not, not pretty, uh, Looking at a young guy that's projected by all the scouting reports based on the number one player of the NBA draft. Let's hope the play it's not as bad as it looks. You can see most of the team going out there halfway to the hallway, and they realize they've got a game to play, and they have to drop off their superstar freshman right there and let the trainers and the rest of the Kentucky folks take over to get him to the locker room. Nice right now, he cannot put any pressure on that left leg. Nice sportsmanship by the Gator fans here. Really a nice job by them cheering in a very positive way for the young guy. I'll tell you what now, as you've been a coach, what do you do when you're John Calipari, when you got the